Blender has a lot of new features and this new tissue feature is really 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 cool. Um, so today we're going to be learning how to uh, how to use this bad boy. I was actually told about this in the comment section. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Uh, let me know. Uh, that's, that's a really 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 cool effect. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you pointed that out for me. So uh, today we're going to be learning how to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the default cube, camera, and lamp as always. One on my numpad to go in the front facing view. We're going to go over to create and we're going to add in a ba -ba 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 UV sphere. We're going to bump up, uh, actually we're not going to bump up any of that. We're going to go to file, user preferences, and uh, not themes, <laughs> add-ons. And we're going to type in tissue. Um, and make sure this is this is checked and then we're gonna hit save user settings now that we've added in our UV sphere what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and hit this tissue tab open because that is new now that we have added the add-on tissue if we if we scroll down you can see that you can hit tessellate down here but before we do that actually I'm gonna do that so let's hit tessellate and let's hit okay um, oh we have to duplicate let's duplicate this shift D and drag one over and then select both of them you have to have two uh, objects in the scene um, so now if we select, if we have both of those selected, um, if we have both of those selected, you, you can see that all of these settings will come up. Um, but for the first one, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit OK. I'm just going to hit OK and get the, uh, the initial default tissue setting, and that is it right there. It looks really, really cool. Um, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was one of those... Uh, one of those balls with all the like a koosh ball. That's the first thing I thought of was a koosh ball. Um, but the the strands are a bit too thick for that. But it still reminded me of that for some reason. So if we move that away from this this uh, this sphere right here, you can see that we have all those nice strands coming out like that. Um, so we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna select both of these, holding down Shift, right clicking both of them. Uh, if I tessellate, now we're gonna change around. Now we're gonna change around a couple of these settings. The scale. I'm gonna scale that up. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna change the offset around. Change the proportional, change the constant, pretty much just do the opposite of whatever it was. We're going to turn that back to, to quad. Fan, as you can tell, 1 million polygons instead of uh, 262,000. I did try the fan once, and Blender totally crashed, and it just was not a good time. So I don't, I don't recommend doing that. Um, but I'm going to hit OK on this one and see what this does, see what these, these change, if it did anything. Um, but it's just a couple seconds. Ooh, whoa! Oh, that looks so cool. All right, I've never done that before. Actually, that's the first time. I always just play with the default settings. That is awesome! Wow. So that's the uh, that's the second one we have there. So let's move that on over there. Uh, let's move this one over, and we'll grab the second one. Move that right there. All right. So now we're gonna do this one more time, and um, because it made such a big difference, I'm gonna do the same thing, but just even more. I'm gonna turn it way more down and way more up, and we'll see what this one does to this guy right here. And that should be done in time. Oh, well, it's just a bit flatter version of the one that we already had. This is so many different uses can be used. Um, this I'm, I'm looking at like a, a, a Chinese lantern right now. I could we could definitely do something with that. That looks pretty cool. And this one kind of looks like a, a like a cartoon afro. This one we did the second one kind of looks like a cartoon afro. That would be really cool if we uh, came up with something like that. Might do something like that in the future. But uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. So move this guy over here. Um, with the other ones, we'll select all those, move them down. And the last couple things we can do really quickly before this video is over, select both of those. And instead of using this tissue down here, we can go up to tools and scroll down to tissue tools and undo that. If we do this, we can mess around with a couple of things. As you can see, we have weight form. I have not messed around with any of these yet, but I am pretty excited to start uh, to, to start getting an idea of what these things can actually do around here. Um, let's see what we can do. Harmonic, uh, create a harmonic variation of the active vertex group. We don't have any vertex groups for this. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to add a vertex group. Um, so we're just going to select a couple of these faces. I'm going to hit C to go into brush mode. We're going to grab like those faces, those vertices. Yeah, we'll do that and we'll hit this plus for vertex. Uh, ooh, no, that's vertex colors. Vertex groups right here. We'll group that and we'll call it uh, verts. Yeah, that sounds good. That's not generic or anything like that. So we'll do harmonic and we'll, ooh, doesn't have any vert groups. Hmm. Ah, all right. I see here. All right. So this is pretty cool. All right. So if I have this one of these cubes selected, one of these cubes, wow, one of these uh, one of these spheres selected, and I hit curvature over here, we can actually uh, we can actually have weight painting based on the curvature of the object. So this, since this is a, a circle, you have this really cool. Uh, this really cool weight painting here. So I, I'm curious to see what this will do if we put put in uh, Suzanne the monkey here. 
uh, do a bit of rotation there, and we'll, we'll do the same thing here, curvature. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so I, I, I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm not sure why vertex, um, why the harmonic is not working though. I have to, I have to figure that out. If you know, if you know, let me know, let me know down in the comment section why uh, that harmonic's not working. I keep, I keep uh, trying to use that. It says active objects does not have any vertex groups, but we do have a couple vertex groups already uh, listed on the the sphere. That's weird. But let's do area. See what that does. Oop. Let's do area, see what that does. Of course, that's probably going to be the same thing because it's a sphere, um, but still good to have. And vertex color, since I did that mishmash, <laughs> that's what that looks like. But that is pretty cool. Uh, some easy stuff like that. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, going back to these crazy things over here, I did a lot of really cool things. Let's delete those. I did a lot of cool things with lighting. So really quickly before this is over, we'll add in some lights here. So I'll shift A, lamp, point, and we will... Uh, it's raining outside, if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But it's raining pretty vigorously outside. But we'll add in a couple lights. I'll, I'll switch to Cycles Render. And this light, will make this light right here. We'll make it, like, a really disgustingly bright pink. <laughs> and we'll make this one, like, uh, like a blue. Like a, nice, like a nice soft blue, something like that. And we'll hit uh, Render Viewport Shading on that. And we'll change the world setting to solid black. So now we have this really cool, like, 80s... This 80s vibe going on. <laughs> so add in our camera 5, 1 to go in orthographic mode on my on my numpad. And um, scroll that camera back just like that. 0 to go into the camera's view. G, Y on your keyboard to scroll the camera backwards. And shift C to put your cursor back in the center. Rendered viewport shading. We will take a look at this. We'll grab one of the point lamps. Uh, the second one. And we'll duplicate it again. Move it like here. And we'll change this color, uh, hit the F and the 2, and we'll change this color to like green B. Eh, I don't know. We'll do something. But yeah, I did some really cool stuff with lighting and some shaders on this. Uh, and I, I, got, I got this effect right here when I did that. Kind of going for like some kind of a lamp, I suppose. Um, but I, I got some really cool effects. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I had a, I had a lot of fun playing around with this one night. But, uh, but yeah, that's it for today. I could do a video on this forever. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys learned something cool with this new tissue feature in Blender 2.79. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.